Are you thinking about moving to the Akron area, but you're not exactly sure where to start looking? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be covering the pros and cons of living right here in the second largest suburb here in Summit County, Cuyahoga Falls. We have tons of people relocating to the area because it's super affordable, has an amazing downtown, and lastly, there are tons of parks to explore. My name is Alex Colasar. I am a real estate agent here in Northeast Ohio, and no, I'm not an alcoholic. I realize my shirt says drink, but I am rocking my drink local shirt because Cuyahoga Falls does have my favorite brewery, but we'll get to that later in this video. But let's start off with pro number one, and that's that Cuyahoga Falls has an amazing downtown area. Now the downtown area isn't huge, but what it lacks for in size, it definitely makes up for in its beauty because you have the Cuyahoga River that borders the downtown area right here, making it very scenic and very walkable. To be 100% honest, I mean, this river has really been the key to tourism and additional develop opportunities within the city itself. Now you can see from the drone shots that there is this amphitheater right downtown, and this serves as the hub for all the free public events that goes on in downtown Cuyahoga Falls. And let me tell you, there are tons. In the spring, summer, and fall time, you can hit up an event, it seems like, every single weekend. My favorite has got to be the Oktoberfest, probably because I was stationed in Germany for three years, so it definitely brings back some good memories. But every time I'm out there, it's a great time. you got to throw on the Lederhosen, go out there, eat some bratwurst, have a beer, and honestly, it's always a phenomenal time. But in the winter time, you can see that they actually turn this area right in front of the amphitheater into an ice skating rink. It's a great place to take the kids or even come out here on a date. Now afterwards, you definitely gotta walk towards the river and hit up the riverfront boardwalk. This place is absolutely beautiful and you can always see some awesome wildlife out there. Now what I love about downtown Calgary Falls is that it is an extremely walkable. It's got a bunch of local stores and restaurants, but it doesn't have any of your big chain restaurants or grocery stores or nothing like that. If you're looking for some good shopping, you gotta head south over there to Howe Ave. You got a bunch of restaurants here and big chain retail stores if you wanna go shopping. But if you head northwest over there or down Portage Trail, you're gonna run into another area. Yes, downtown kinda has, I don't know, three different downtowns, so to say. What I really like about Cuyahoga Falls is that most suburbs here in the Akron area really only have one downtown with a bunch of residential houses surrounding it. We're here in Cuyahoga Falls, you have your downtown area, then you also have your two distinct areas uh, that really is filled with commercial businesses. You got LA Fitness, a bunch of food places, a movie theater, and my favorite grocery store, the Giant Eagle Market District. The reason why I absolutely love this store is because as soon as you walk in, you have like this food court area, then to the left you have a bar where if you wanna go grocery shopping with a beer, you can, and then you can actually head upstairs. They got a bunch of tables laid out. You got a bunch of college students up there studying. You got businessmen. You even have a classroom off to the side where they can hold meetings. Really, honestly, it's probably one of the most versatile grocery stores around here. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, make sure you subscribe and leave a thumbs up for me. It'd be much appreciated. But again, that's my favorite part about Cuyahoga Falls. You have a bunch of different areas where you can go shopping, making everything within like a 10 minute drive or less. All right, now the second pro on the list is that Cuyahoga Falls offers a bunch of stuff to do. I will say that like 90% of the activities are outdoor related. So in the winter time, it can be a little boring if you don't like shopping and going to restaurants all the time, but bear through the winter months, the spring, summer, and fall time here are absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite spots in Cuyahoga Falls is the Blossom Music Center. Now, unfortunately with COVID, I didn't get to attend any concert this summer, but the venue holds concerts all year long and is a great place to go and catch your favorite band. Then after you finish up with your concert, you gotta head right across the street to Sarah's Vineyard. This is definitely one of my favorite date spots here. You gotta grab one of their local wines, a brick oven pizza, sit outside on a picnic table and just enjoy the beautiful breeze that Ohio summers have to offer. Now, the second reason why I absolutely love Cuyahoga Falls is that there are tons and tons and tons of parks here. Probably more parks than any other area here in the local area besides the Cuyahoga Valley National Park, which also butts up here to Cuyahoga Falls. But one of my favorite spots in Cuyahoga Falls has gotta be the Gorge Park. They have two easy trails back here and that are each around like 1.8 miles long. So they're relatively easy. You got Glen's Trail and Gorge's Trail. And the observation deck and the cave are by far my favorite spots on this hike. And while this is like my favorite park right here in the area, if you head right down the river, you're gonna run into tons and tons of little parks here and there. Some are just for like seating and benching while others are full blown parks with trails. 
really you have tons and tons. I think there are like 26 different parks here in Cuyahoga Falls. But if we head just north of the river, we're gonna run into the Waterworks Park on the river. And across the street there, you also have the Waterworks Family Aquatic Center. They got trails back here. You can float the river, even kayak. They got picnic tables. You can go for a run. They even got a dog park back here. What I really like about these areas is that it's always super clean and super safe. You're gonna see tons of families out here, whether it's for a baseball game, a picnic, or again, just going for a walk. Now, like I said earlier, there's around 26 different parks here in Cuyahoga Falls, but I cannot forget the one and only, the Cuyahoga, man, Cuyahoga is just a hard word to say. The Cuyahoga Valley National Park here. Cuyahoga Falls actually uh, borders right there on the south end of the park, which leads to endless trails. And really it's an awesome place. My favorite spots for biking is the Hampton Hills mountain bike area, which offers up to like 16 miles of trails. They're super challenging, but very, very fun. And for my favorite hiking trail, you gotta check out the Brandywine Falls. It's not in Cuyahoga Falls, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's got one of the biggest waterfalls around in the entire area. But to sum it all up, I gotta say, this is the reason why I love Cuyahoga Falls. There's always something to do here in the summertime. All right, let's get on to the third pro, and that's gonna be my favorite thing. I'm wearing the shirt. We're talking about the restaurants and breweries that Cuyahoga Falls has to offer. I gotta admit, Burnt Warren Tavern and Views on the River definitely have the best location. I mean, they are right on the water. Hands down, best location. Definitely go grab a bite to eat, enjoy the views, but my favorite spot has gotta be Hibachi Japan, which is located right on Front Street on the water. No, you don't get the views of the water, but you get the views of the Hibachi Chef, chefing it up, especially when they hit that little shrimp across the table. I absolutely love it there. You get so much food, but be prepared because they always do get a wait time. It seems pretty much inevitable. I go there right when they open and usually it's like a five, 10 minute wait even with the reservation. In the description, I'll leave a link to a couple other places that I recommend checking out for some good food. But let's hop on over to the breweries. Calga Falls does have four amazing breweries, but to be honest, my favorite brewery has got to be the Missin Mountain Brewery Company. This place is absolutely gorgeous because it sits right on the river and the patio back here is literally like my dream patio. Like I want this thing in my backyard, especially with all their awesome beers on tap. But again, this is another place to bring a date, some friends, family. It's really a place for all types of activities. And yes, it is dog friendly since they got the patty on the outdoors. So you'll definitely see some little ones running around. Now I'm trying to make this video short and sweet. So the last pro that I got on the list is that Cuyahoga Falls offers extremely affordable houses with the average sales price being right around 160,000. Over the last like five years, we've really saw home prices start to increase uh, here in the Cuyahoga Falls area because demand is just shooting through the roof. I think five years ago, the average sales price was at 125,000. Now it's at 160,000. So we're definitely seeing more people move into the area. And I think it's because a lot of people that are looking to move to the Akron area, Cuyahoga Falls is in a great location. So it just makes it its next prime location for people to move to. Now you can see from the drone shots here that the houses are definitely close together, right? If you're looking for a property with like 0.3 acres or above, it's gonna be kind of like somewhat difficult to find because as you can see, they're, they're all like stacked on top of each other. And this actually brings me to my first con, which is that Cowell Falls is a densely populated city. And like I said earlier, it's the second largest suburb behind Akron with 50,000 residents. So really they just stacked homes on top of each other. So for some people, Having neighbors this close or seeing this many people may not be ideal for you. And if that's the case, what I'm gonna recommend is moving a little bit up north towards the Seal Corners area or a little bit out west towards the National Park. You're gonna definitely gonna get a little more acreage out there and be a little spread out from your neighbors. One thing that's kind of funny about Cuyahoga Falls is there are tons and tons of Cape Cod and bungalow style homes here in the Cuyahoga Falls area mixed in with a little bit of colonials you're pretty much going to see the same setup it seems like there are tons and tons of these three bedroom one to two bath houses pretty much stacked on right on top of each other near that downtown area and now since the city is so densely populated like right around that downtown area traffic can get pretty bad right around front street that's because you got route eight that runs north and south here and again with 50,000 residents best believe these exits are going to be pretty busy and filled with stoplights so you may be stopped at a light for a few minutes but again once you start to get going a little bit it's not terrible but again it's going to have 
definitely some like rush hour traffic during that like five o'clock and morning period. I'd say Broad Boulevard, you got Talmadge Road and Portage Trail are probably gonna be one of the busier roads here. Now, if I had to be 100% honest, that's really the only con that I had about Cuyahoga Falls. And that's one of the reasons why I ended up not moving to Cuyahoga Falls is because it's the houses are so tightly packed together. You got a lot of traffic and there's so many people within the city. But now these next two items that I have are not really cons. They're kind of more in the gray area, left up for interpretation. So I'll let you uh, take it how you want. The first thing is gonna be the Cuyahoga Falls School District. Now the school district does not have the best ratings. I mean, they're not good, but they're also not great. You got a little over 1500 students here at the high school. So it definitely is a larger school. And with a large school, look, there's gonna be some challenges for some students, but overall, they got a great academic program and a tons of opportunities for the students to take advantage of. Look, at the end of the day, it's a big public school. But this also brings us to our last con gray area, which is gonna be crime here in Cuyahoga Falls. Now it's 27% safer than all US cities, which isn't great, but also again, isn't bad, with 61% of the residents saying that some crime is in the area, but it doesn't really impact them. Look, with Cuyahoga Falls being so densely populated with people, crime is pretty much inevitable, right? I've never had any issues of feeling threatened for my life. I think the biggest thing is gonna be property or like car theft just because there's so many people stacked up right there. I will say once you start going south a little bit towards the border of Akron and certain apartments in within Cuyahoga Falls, it can be a little sketchy. But again, these are more of like pockets of bad areas. Look, at the end of the day, Cuyahoga Falls is a great community to live in. It's family oriented. It's got tons of local parks and bike trails amazing restaurants and breweries. It's got shopping. I mean, really the list goes on and on. So if I didn't end up covering any questions that you may have, make sure you leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to them later. But that's all I got for you guys. I tried to make it quick and sweet, but I appreciate you watching it and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.